Hello, welcome back to Mellow Miniatures. Hope you are all well. Uh, hello especially to Clover who is in the chat. Uh, welcome in to everybody that has made it in. How are we all today? I hope you are well. Uh, I've dressed for the occasion as you can see. Put a little shirt on, a little Santa hat. Uh, I did get some reindeer antlers as well, but I decided they were probably a bit too loud to be uh, shaking around on the head because they've got, they've got bells on the antlers. Uh, yeah, so welcome back. Welcome in. I'm sure you can hear the music. Oh, he's loud. <laughs> yes, good. I've, I've resolved the mic issues. I've resolved the music issues. We're now uh, running slightly more professionally. Much better mic volume this evening. Excellent. Excellent. Um, I have switched programs. I have switched from Twitch Studio to Streamlabs. Um, I find Streamlabs uh, a lot better. It, it was a little threatening at first when I when I loaded it up. But I've just moved everything over. Everything looks a little bit nicer. Uh, I'm sure those of you that were here early saw the countdown. Um, that's new. The new slideshow there. And... Obviously you can see my uh, my old school loon boss lurking in the background of this. So without further ado, let's turn the camera on. Because I'm that professional, I forgot to turn the camera on. Come on. Oh, here we go. Technical issues already. Come on camera, you're making noise. Camera is picking up audio as well. Oh no. Uh, let's mute that. Does that does that fix it? I don't know why it's why the camera's not been fixed. Come on. This is supposed to be the professional stream now. <sighs> Right. Bear with me just one second. wasn't playing ball with the camera. But we're back. We are here. We can start now. Um, we've got Gilderoy back again in all of his uh, shiny, shiny glory. It's not really shiny, it's matte. It's pain. But, um, let's get on with it, I suppose. How are we all doing tonight? Music's a touch loud. Maybe 50 of what it is now. Uh, okay. Uh, that can be done for you. Is that, is that okay? Let 
me uh, let me know. I take it no response is a good response. Maybe? I don't know. The song finished. Yeah. There is a, there's another one playing now. I might find uh, another player in the future that has a crossfade on it maybe, or just better song transitions. So I've noticed there are quite a few gaps in this, uh, this application. Uh, for those of you interested, it is uh, Twitch's own program that I'm using. Uh, we can hear dulcet tones now. Excellent. Excellent news. Um, yes, so the, the, the music provider is Soundtrack by uh, Twitch. It's their own royalty-free uh, music service. And uh, so far, it's pretty good. Um, okay, so we are continuing with the inside of the cape, which is where we left off uh, last time. As you remember, my uh, my stream. Those of you who watched, we like to end it with the camera dying. And I'm going to try, I was going to guarantee, but no, I'm going to try, and not in the stream that way, this week. Um, both batteries should work, if that reminds me to take that one off charge. Um, so yeah, there are new commands, so when I'm painting like this, you can use uh, exclamation mark out and that will tell me that I'm not letting you watch anything I'm doing um, there's uh, there are those there we go exclamation mark out what's that we can't see the miniature and whether that's out of frame or out of focus I just left it at uh, exclamation mark out just so that it was uh, it was there for you to use uh, there, are, there are others there's exclamation mark mic if you can't hear me uh, exclamation mark cam if the camera dies and I don't realize uh, exclamation mark time if the timer runs down and I don't realize and exclamation mark music if the music is too loud, too quiet. I think the uh, the text is to do with it being too loud, but I'm not sure. That was another good thing about it. Uh, digging the festive hut. <laughs> Thank you, Ravicious. I've got um. I've got a, a, a Christmas themed shirt on, but it's, uh, it's not been picked up all that well. It's supposed to look like a, like a Christmas jumper, like a knitted Christmas jumper. Um, yeah, it's, I don't think it's being picked up all that well. Maybe lighting is the next improvement for next week, eh? Uh, how are we all doing tonight? We got we got a few more viewers in the chat now. Oh, 
Oh good, thank you, you okay? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm good, thank you. Um, been a, quite a long, boring day. Good, thanks. Oh, Leah, hello, welcome in. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been quite, a, quite a boring day. The red does work well against the green backdrop. Ah, you see, I started setting up the green screen and then thought, uh, maybe I should put a white one up, like it's, uh, like it's snowing or something. But I was already pretty much set up the, uh, the green one, and I thought, I won't bother. Because uh, I'm lazy like that. Alright. Uh, Clover is looking forward to the Christmas break. Yeah! I'm looking forward to kicking back and relaxing even more than I already often do. And maybe for the first time in a while, I'm looking forward to seeing my extended family. Um, yeah, I'm used to having like big family gatherings, and it's been weird them uh, them not being around this year. What's everyone up to then? we just chilling out watching me or is anybody doing anything interesting for Christmas presents to buy. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much done with that. Although, thinking about it, no I'm not, but I I would like to say I'm pretty much done with that. I think there's a couple more things here and there that I need. Um, I need to decide who's been good enough to to receive presents. Who's on the nice list this year? Um, if anyone's seen the Tesco advert this year, apparently everyone's on the nice list. Uh, I can't afford that, so we're, we're trimming it down. Giving Santa a, a second opinion. I've only just started. Oh, Leah. That's not good. Well, uh, I don't know. I like doing it early, but I don't know. Is, is 3rd of December late? I'm not sure. I presume if you're shopping online, uh, shipping dates can be can be quite bad this time of year. I know that from eBay purchases for myself rather than uh, Christmas presents, but. really tricky to try and work out here what is careful and what is not and I know that this is quite dark let me try and uh, brighten this up for you a little bit is that, is that any better uh, a little bit okay I know that I'm casting a massive shadow over it which uh, which doesn't help Painting the bits uh, just in between his legs there, uh, which again you can't really see because I can't. There's no nice angle to do this at that helps the camera and helps me. Um, yeah, uh, it does get quite dark. Look at that. 
My hands are really shaky today, I have no idea why. Um, and it's quite off putting. Maybe I've not eaten all that much? Is that a thing? Surely that's a thing. Not eating makes shaky hands. No, I don't know. Not enough Lipton tea. Yeah, you see, I'm fresh out of Lipton tea. So uh, instead I've got pink stuff. Uh, barely pink stuff. Which I'm going to take a drink of just there. Um, yeah, it's some sort of Robinson stuff. So it's they're still the same company the same parent company at least um, but yeah I do need to get another supply of, of Lipton has anyone tried their uh, sponsor sponsorship money yeah yeah I might have a word with my uh, my dad to see if I can get a, <laughs> a sponsorship <laughs> for them uh, I presume short answer is no. Painting out focus again. Um, yeah, the short answer is no. But hey ho, maybe if if people uh, keep tuning in, we never know. Uh, you'll see at the top there there is uh, a subscriber goal. Which is currently at 33 and a third percent, which is obviously, as you can see, 10 subscribers uh, by the end of January. I think we can get to 30 subscribers. So, if you want to share this to your friends, you want to get people involved. Uh, if you think people will like it, or even if you think people hate it, share it to them to annoy them. Um, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, e either way, it, it'd mean a lot if we could reach that subscriber goal. And I think if we don't reach that subscriber goal, I'll just push it back until hopefully we do. Um, Coming over to Streamlabs uh, also means that I have new, uh, I forgot what they call them, new alerts. So when people subscribe, when people uh, donate, if they want to donate, um, when people raid, if somebody wanted to do that, anything like that. Uh, there'll be a little gif pops up and it will praise them for it uh, so that's something to bear in mind if you want to see your name on stream you can absolutely do that just by clicking that little button underneath the stream uh, okay so the inside of the cape is pretty much done now there's oh, there we go. That was very loud and scared the hell out of me. There we go, Rivacious. You have found the uh, the or uh, no, not the orc, the goblin, the goblin shaman. There. No, you don't have to. You don't have to apologise for it, uh, Ryan. You can uh, you can test that out all you want. See your name. Me is, me is. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, I will turn that down. You can see your name pops up. Uh, wait, hang on. 
point it that way. Your name pops up over there. Um, and your name popped up, so that, that'll that stay there uh, all stream, I think. It me is me, has made me jump. Yeah, it made me jump as well. That, that definitely needs uh, definitely needs turning down. Let me see if I can get myself a plug if Robinson to get them too. <laughs> yeah, why not? Use me as an advertising board. Uh, yeah, there, alert box. We'll just knock that down a little bit there. Cool. Hopefully it won't frighten us all. I do want to get some uh, some custom sounds for those as well. Because I found the GIFs. Uh, well, I'd like to get some custom GIFs. Maybe. We'll see. Can test again if needs be. Uh, maybe not Ryan, just in case. We'll uh, we'll let somebody else scare us if they uh, if they fancy joining us. Okay, so I don't know if you can see. Yes, you can. I just painted the inside of his leg there, but I'm not too worried about that because. I um, I did the dark blue in that area pretty flat, pretty nicely, so I can go back over there with the dark blue. But what I think we will do, if I just bring up my lovely reference image, uh, we will move on to the skin turn for Gildroy here. I just put him up there and bring him in to focus there. Um, yes. Bear with while I shake up the paint. I do need to pick up a white out of the box so I shall do that over the break. Uh, let's see, in fact, what we will do is I will show the wet palette. So for those of you who don't paint miniatures, uh, let's just bring the dirt on the lens into focus instead. Come on. Here we are. Right. Let's visible at least. Um, so what it is, there is, I'm trying to do this without tipping it too much, there's a layer of water in the bottom of this uh, Tupperware tub, then there is a sponge, and then there is some uh, greaseproof paper over the top of it. And the greaseproof paper acts as a boundary so that you can put the paints right on there and they don't dry up, they're easier to thin down and mix with the water. As you can see the little, uh, little spidery type shape that I've made there. And just dragging the paint out, thinning it down a little bit. And what I've got here is the, uh, the Citadel texture tool. So Citadel will do paints where you you have like gravels in them or little rocks and things like that so this just helps you get that out of the pot but it also works really well for their uh, the standard paints so we just give that a little wash off you see I've got move that back there. I've got, I've got a, where are we going this way there we go right so I've got this uh, little glass of water and I just prod the texture tool down, scrape it along the bottom. You can see that once the paints come off, just knock it in the side of the glass. Water it down a little bit more. And there we go. Texture tool is all clean. And that can go back down there. That can go back over there. 
and we clean the brush. Clean it properly. Come on. There we are. Uh, I'm going to take a smaller brush for this skin. Now the skin tone I'm using, if any of you are interested, is Cadian Flesh Tone. Uh, it's designed to be highlighted and played about with, but I just quite like it as a as a flat paint as it, as its self. Uh, so we'll zoom us back in a bit here and focus it up. There we go. Now on with the skin tone. Okay. So what I will do actually is bring him a little higher, like that. The thing about a miniature like this is his wavy hair blends into his head quite, quite well. So. What I mean by that is there are clear ridges, like there were on the, on the ruffles of the cape. There are clear ridges, so I can just jam the paintbrush in, push the paint around a little bit, and it'll automatically stop when it comes to a barrier. You can see already, Gildroy here is, uh, is coming to life. You might be able to, no you can't. You might be able to see just here how I push the paint into the side of his head. And it just stops right there on the crest of his hair. On the side of his head. Do the same thing on the other side, just make sure I've got all the hair covered. Now what this will do, uh, painting it like this, is leave the uh, the ears untouched. And the ears are really hard to do. There we go. They, they blend in with the hair, because he's got such curly hair. They blend in with the hair quite well. Um, so just picking them out really gently. And there we have it pretty much done. And you can't see. Just shaping the bottom of his uh, bottom of his jaw. Okay, so that is his head. Pretty much. Can I bring him a little closer? There we go. Look at that. There's his, his head. It's pretty much done there. Maybe a little bit of work going backwards and forwards with the edges, uh, doing the hair. And now we're on to his hands. So if we can get him back down here, back in focus. Uh, let me just move that. Over. Right, okay. I really like this uh, this painting handle. And so it's um, it's just a little cap there um, with blue tack stuck on, which you can see just underneath, and that's stuck to the base. 
sorry if you heard that, that was quite loud. There we go. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it blue tack stuck to the to the cap and to the base. And there's a little hole inside the base and a little peg here. And that's plugs in there. And then this still has room to spin. So it's freestanding. Um, and it just means you can you can change out the miniature. So if I were to take this off and I go right now I want to paint this bit. Um, I can do this bit. Uh, this this miniature is not primed. Uh, it came in the post yesterday. Um, so I'll look out for him on an upcoming stream. This is uh, Scragrot the Loon King, which I think I mentioned the other day. Um, I wasn't a fan of this this miniature at first, but I have grown to like it. Um, so there, there we go. Put uh, you back on the right. So we're about half an hour in. I think it's time we called a break. Uh, so, ooh, that hurt. Um, let me just sort this. Two. There we are. And we are back. Okay. So what's people what have people been saying? Uh that looks mint. Yeah, dude, I presume that's to the scrap scrap vault. There we go. I went and got the uh the antlers. I'm sure you can all hear that. That's probably quite annoying. So I'll take those off. Um that's just proof of concept, I suppose. Um you can sit there. So we've got another follower. Lauren. Hello, welcome in. Uh if you are just joining us, we are painting uh Gildry Lockhart here. <laughs> Jimpix, hello. Thank you for the follow. That is two more of you. Um, yeah, so we're we're painting the Gildroy Lockhart miniature here from uh, the Harry Potter's miniature game. Long time no see. Is this is this somebody I know? Have to guess who I am. Oh, I have no idea who you are. This could this could be a, a long game. Um, we definitely had ups and downs at high school. <laughs> uh, Jim, message me privately. Let's let me see who you are. Either way, you are Fisher. Oh, Josh Fisher. Ah, nice to see you. You are very welcome here, Josh. How are you? Uh, sorry to uh, everyone else that, that doesn't know Josh. Um, just chatting away here. Good to uh, good to have you here. So yeah, as I as I say, we are painting one of the Harry Potter miniatures games at uh, Harry Potter miniatures game miniatures. Um, so feel free to stick around, have a watch, do what you like, 
Uh, how's yourself? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty good. Thank you. Uh, you're lucky Gildroid doesn't have painted nails while you've been struggling. Yes, you are dumb right there. Um... Yeah, I'm trying to think if I've painted nails on a miniature before. I haven't, because most of them are elves with bows or skeletons or whatever. And Actually, I think I have more skeletons with bows. So what do you get? Uh, I'm, at, I'm at uni now, um, which was the whole, uh, the whole reason for starting this stream. Uh, I... I was tasked with creating a brand uh, for Twitch and created this. Uh, what are you up to, Josh? You know you are. This is quite the interview. Um, I'm at Leeds Beckett and I'm studying broadcast media, uh, in essence, TV production and stuff like that. Uh, are you still carrying on with the, the the rugby, Josh? I believe that's where you were, where you're looking at going. Uh, right. So that is the hands and the face done. That's the skin tone finished. So we'll lay him here. I still play rugby, have a guess at what job I do. Are you a referee? You probably won't even believe me. No. Are you a Twitch streamer? Other guesses in the chat are, are very much welcome. I am horrible at guessing games. Uh, where are we going next? We're going for Zandri Dust paint. Next, could do with giving it a shake. A police officer. So, Ryan, you are way out. <laughs> uh, a police officer, good. That's, that's good. Well done. Uh, Josh, I'll I'll have a uh, catch up with you after the stream. Um, we can talk more about about that because that sounds cool. You know, I never I never fancied being a police officer. Sorry, realised I just put my hand on the camera. There. Never fancied being a police officer. Um, I think you've got to be a lot braver than I am to uh, to do that. So, so good on you, Josh. Anybody else have any, uh, dream? You're a brave lad streaming live. Uh, you see... I don't know, I, I do appreciate that comment, Ryan. Um, thank you. Uh... It is a big, it is a big thing for me, um, but I suppose when when I sat down and, and watched a lecture and my tutor said you've got to be doing this in four or five weeks, whenever or however long it was, um, you sort of uh, as you as you'll know, you you sort of have to sit there and go well, right. Well, I, I guess that's what I'm doing. Uh, how's your stream coming along, right? Good at it. Uh, I wouldn't say that, Ryan. Um, again, I appreciate the comment, but he's a natural. Thank you, guys. I'm not sure how much of that is uh, is true, but I do have a go. Not much so far. Doing a scripted one in character. Ah, nice. It's relaxing to watch Big yourself up. Thank you, thank you. Just need some less flaky equipment. 
yes, yes, I would like a uh, a proper setup. Um, way braver than I am. Oh, Leah, I am sure there is some bravery in you. Uh, you yeah, I tell you what's what's brave about you: looking after, having dependents, looking after all those animals. I would not know whether I'm coming or going with all those animals. For those of you who don't know Leah, she has the best collection of pets I think I've ever seen. It's great. Um, do you have? Do you play any games on PC? Uh, yeah, I play games on PC. I play uh, Minecraft. I know a lot of you have just gone, Ugh. but. But yeah, no, I play Minecraft. Um, I've played Minecraft for 10, 11 years, um, so I'm not going to stop anytime soon. Uh, I play Deep Rock Galactic, uh, which is pretty good. Um, which is dwarves mining in space, and they uh, they fight little spidery things. It's all good fun. All good fun. Um, what else do I play? Sure, there's other things I play as well, but uh, Leah for guest stream. Yeah, Leah can come on and paint something. Absolutely. Minecraft Pixel Bar. Ah, uh, yes, the Minecraft uh, Pixel Bar server. Um, Pixel Bar is bar in Leeds uh, that I have been known to frequent. Uh, as in the Pixel Bar. Yes, as in the Pixel Bar. Yeah. Um, apparently that link doesn't work now. Robin is the is the king of that server. Uh, what was I'm just missing it. You play anything like Rainbow Six Siege, Hearts of Iron, and PUBG? Uh, I have Rainbow Six, and I played it a couple of times, but not uh, not a lot. Um, I'm not I'm not a big fan of first person shooters. Um, the reason I like Deep Rock Galactic is because there's the the mining element to it and the exploration element to it as well. Not just shoot this, shoot that. Um, PUBG, PUBG, I liked. Um, I'm one of those weirdos that had PUBG Mobile. I quite quite like uh, quite like PUBG Mobile, but Hearts Hearts of Iron, I've never heard of. I think you'd like Hearts of Iron. Okay, well. Uh, it is nearly Christmas. I shall have a look at that. Uh, thanks for the recommendation. Um, I go to Pixel Bar Fair, but also, yeah, it, it's always really, really busy. Um, and I like that. I say it's always really, really busy. Sometimes I've gone, uh, I've gone early afternoon for some quick pick me ups, um, and it's not often not often busy midweek, early afternoon. Uh, strategy game during World War Two, top down. Ah, like the um, the oh, what was the what was the map called? The the zombies map. Uh, I like I like the zombies, the top down. Call of Duty Zombies match. Uh, I used to love PUBG Mobile. It was great for procrastinating. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was perfect. I had it on my iPad, and just having little Russian kids shouting and swearing at me, it was great. I loved it. Um, that was what I used to love about Call of Duty. Is just all the kids screaming at each other. Good times. Uh, can you confirm we played Human Fall Flat together at my old flat? I can, I can confirm that it was me and Ryan playing Human Fall Flat uh, just before, just before lockdown. We played, uh, and Ryan was very good at it, and I was horrible. Yes, and yeah, we had a cup of tea, baked sandwich. It was great, it was really good fun. Uh, post lockdown, we should try again at that, Ryan. 
that was uh, was a good afternoon. Uh, she's watching right now, FYI. Ah, well, welcome in. Definitely. And Josh has put a link. Josh, what's that? What's that YouTube? What's that YouTube link you've put in? Sneaky little link. We were playing the new HFF maps. What's HFF? Oh, just the Hats of Iron 4 trailer. Oh, okay, cool. What's HFF, Robin? What, what, am, I, what am I missing out there? I got all the achievements, and they decided to add more maps in the cup. Yeah, see, I bought it on PC for a quid or two uh, when it was really cheap and I, I picked up a controller and I was like this is just no fun single player so uh, if anybody fancies PC human fall flat then uh, let's do it let's do it okay so all that rambling and we have Gildroy's magnificent locks uh, just not in focus. There we go. We've got his. Uh, needs a little bit more touching up now that I can see it in the proper light. It's a little bit grey behind his ear still. So, we have the shirt and the tie to do. And then we are golden. So, let's bring him back into focus there. And we will stick some white on the wet palette. Uh, for those of you who don't know, and I mention it every week and the people that watch every week are probably quite bored of this, but uh, I paint using a wet palette because it's easier to control the brush, it's, um, it's easier to thin, um, thin the paints down so that you're not just sticking on big globs of paint like I did when I first started painting. Um, and when you paint the colour like white, it, it doesn't cover very well, as I'm sure you'll see in a minute. You can see how lumpy and, and chalky and horrible it is uh, at the moment. And I don't think Games Workshop sell this one anymore. I can't remember which white it is that I have that Games Workshop don't sell. But this one is White Scar you are interested. Okay, so I'll put a little bit of that white on there. Little, uh, looks like a weird condiment or something. Mmm, lumpy mayonnaise. Um, just making sure I'm all caught up on chat. Yep, I think I am. Oh, one, th one thing I didn't bring attention to, um, it's just scrolled away now, is uh, the Pixel Minecraft server. Uh, Robin very kindly dropped a link to that, uh, or a, a server code, or whatever you call it. I'm not I'm not technologically minded enough with, uh, with stuff like that. I'm sure Robin will have the answer to the name of it, if anybody knows. It's going to be Robin. Okay, so now that we've got the white, we're just starting completely off camera, uh, painting the cuffs of his sleeves. Now you see immediately, even thinning it down, there's a huge blob of paint that put down there. So you just take that and just spread it around. Nice and gently. Um, I say nice and gently, and then completely just paint straight over his jacket. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna post siege with a few mates. Add me on Discord. Yeah, uh, I'll add you up. Uh, thank you for swinging by.
Josh. Uh, adios. See you later, man. There's another command we can add for next week. Exclamation mark bye, or exclamation mark adios. I think uh, Josh might have just named it there. Um, let me know uh, if you do want more chats, if you want, uh, sorry, if you want more commands in chat, if you want uh, daft things. We want custom jack emojis for Christmas. Um, well, it's funny you should say that, Ryan. Um, because there may be a little twitchy surprise uh, coming. That's all I will say. You can put two and two together and you can come up with three, four or five. I don't care. I know what I want to do. Uh, but I do use the word may be coming. Because if I can't get it to work, it won't be coming. Probably five, which is why I do broadcast meter and not mass. Exactly right. Exactly. Um, yeah. Um, I enjoyed maths at school, but it was never my strong point. Never my strong point. Pythagoras theorem. Stuck in my head, though. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So I can find the area of a triangle whenever I like. See, I'm, uh, I'm giving you more facts. Might try and might try and make that a, a weekly thing. Give you a, a useless bit of information every week. Uh, let me know if you'd be interested. I'm quite, I'm quite the mine of useless information. That's why I'm, uh, I'm so often winning the pixel bar uh, quiz. Oh, I was so often winning the pixel bar quiz. Quotes occasion for triangle silence. Is it not? Is it not the area of a triangle? I thought the area. Ah, uh, see, d d again, this is why I'm not doing a maths degree. Go on, then, what's the area of the... Well, I thought that was the equation for the area. Is it... Is that the height... Uh, height times width? No. Height and width or something like that? I don't know. Length times width divided by two. Okay. So I knew it was something about width and two, but I... I yeah. There you go, Ryan. I know Pythagoras here and then you know the other one, so if we're doing triangle stuff, we're sorted. We're absolutely sorted. Uh, put this in your 1k evaluation. Not just relaxing, but educational too. There's nothing he can't do on stream, Ryan Lee. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Um, yeah, I'll be sure to add that in. Jack, you did maths about two years ago, but about 50 for me. Ryan, you're not that old. You're speaking like a geriatric, you're not... Until you said you were older than me, I didn't realise I thought you were the same age, so... Don't put yourself down. Lots of twitch. <laughs> That's what you keep having in, the, in your legs, isn't it? When you, when you sit down too long. Okay, I realise I'm not I'm not paying enough attention to this uh, this miniature. His uh, his cuffs are painted. His left cuff here um, is way too thick and is way too messy. So I shall sort that. Hey, look, we're on the uh, we're on the hour and five mark, and there's been no battery death. And looking at it, it the battery appears to be full. Which I want to be a lie. Uh, I am going to go for about an hour and a half this stream. Um, I was I was thinking, do I take another break and split it into three? But no, I think I'll just 
let's have the second half of this longer. Unless any of you want a break or need a break. Go to the toilet or put the kettle on or whatever. Make some toast. I don't know what people do. Do people, do people make toast at 9pm? I'm sure somebody does. They're doing lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, routines are weird through lockdown. Um, see, I'm really funny about toast. I can either have it for breakfast or I can have it for tea. I won't have it for lunch. Um, but it's either a breakfast thing or at night I have it with some beans and cheese and that. Uh, and yeah, you are golden. I have to say I watched a video of uh, an American trying a jacket potato with beans and cheese uh, for the first time and he was saying it's really bland, it's really really bland I was like, well you've got the beans and the cheese imagine how bland it would be if it was just a potato um, but yeah, w watching that really made me want a jacket potato and now remembering it still I want a jacket potato. But they take like hours to cook, don't they? To cook and... I don't know. I, I know nothing about cooking. If it doesn't say how to cook it on the packaging. No idea. Nine minutes in a microwave. Yeah, but is that a ridiculously powerful microwave? Or like a... Uh, uh, what were they called? Sunbeam? Was it Sunbeam Robin that you were on about last week? Just like magical microwaves that do tap dancing and stuff while you wait for your food. What wattage is that, Ryan? That you're doing nine minutes jack and potato? That was a toaster. Oh. Well, didn't you say you had a posh microwave as well? Does Sunbeam not do microwaves? Is that what I'm missing? Blast in the microwave, then bake hot, crisper skin. So it's 750 watt? Really? Damn. What's this guessing? Oh, that's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've got to have a crispy skin on it, yeah. But. Damn. Nine minutes. So if I can have a, a jacket potato done in 15 minutes. Got some beans, some, some grated, uh, grated cheddar on it. Mm, mm, mm. Now comes the question though. What kind of beans? HP beans? Branston beans? Plebs doing 45 minutes and they went, yeah, see, I'm a pleb. I'm a pleb, Ryan. Anything over about or what? And, yes, ha ha ha. Very funny. Um, I had a fuse uh, at blow in my house. I have, I have a really old, um, I have a really old house, really, and it's just just wants knocking down. Um, but yeah, we had a we had a fuse blow, and the first person I turned to was was Robin. And instead of helping me, he seems to have just. Spent the time ridiculing me for it, which is fine. I'll I'll get him back. I'll get you, my pretty and your little dog too. Leo, don't worry. I'm not going to touch the dog. I'm just I'll uh, get payback on Robin somehow. Uh, me adding the uni group to let them know this. What, they let them know about jacket potatoes or let them know about me? I think you've more chance of getting getting through them on jacket potatoes than you have me. Fuses <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, see, is that old Ryan 
they weren't even fuses, they were fused wire. Um, which I, I don't know what I don't know what the difference is. I know that I know what a fuse looks like. I know what fuse wire looks like. But why is one better than the other? I'm sure Robin has a scientific explanation for that. But I do not, because I dropped science as well two years ago. Even though my masters is a uh, masters, my uh, degree, sorry, is uh, technically. A Bachelor of Science. So I'm just taking some more of the dark blue out of the pot. And I'm not I'm not using the uh, the texture tool this time. I'm just using the paintbrush. Uh, that I have been using because I don't need write, write much write much? I don't need very much there we go, use proper English there's people watching um, so yeah, there's there's just a little bit see there, just a little, little, little tiny bit of the dark blue on that and what we shall do check my laptop is dying and I'd have a scooby with my chargers. Good little girl trying his nails. Uh, thank you, Ryan. Um, no, no worries about your laptop, man. I'll probably catch up with you uh, after, after the stream. Um, peace out. Goodbye. Goodbye, Ryan. Uh, they're just rewirable fuses. These days, we've moved on to various types of circuit breakers. Then you don't have to replace anything when you've run too many microwaves. Robin, I have one microwave. It's the um, the portable heaters that were doing it. Oh, that's what we suspect we're doing it. I don't. We we don't know. I don't care really. My lights went out the day after my lights came back on. Simple as that. Simple as peas. I don't fuss. I don't fuss about stuff. If something's broken, I fix it. I move on. I don't think about it. Um, that's not saying you should follow my uh, my advice at all. You should absolutely know what you're doing when you're doing stuff. I just choose not to. I choose to go to Robin and go, Robin, help me, help me, something's gone wrong. Um, and sometimes he does, and sometimes he laughs at me. <laughs> anyway, we should carry on painting. Um, because I'm aware we've got 15 minutes left uh, and we're not quite finished so on to his tie taking this nice and slow And just uh, a little, a little thick blue line is good enough for me, because um, it's a tiny little thing from a distance. This is way too close, but from a distance you won't notice anyway. That just looks like a, a tie to me. Um, so now all that's left is to pick out his shoes with the lovely colour that I can't get in front, this way, and back, and this way again. It's really hard working uh, on this on this camera. Um, a bad and black, anyway, is what we're going to be painting with. This time I am going to shovel it on to the white part, uh, and I want to put it there. So there we go. Um, oh, 
Where do I want to put it? Just in the middle. Do it. Put a little bit more. Ooh, look at that, my big hand. Um, time is really ticking away. Um, the reason I, I I upped the stream time from the first one, uh, from an hour to, to an hour and a half, is because I don't, well, I don't want to take too much of your evenings up, but also I felt like an hour just disappeared when I was streaming the first time. Um, so for me, I didn't feel like I had enough time to talk to you guys and to paint and to do all the things I want to do. Um, so yeah, I'll take a uh, half hour. If anybody has any comments on how long the stream is lasting, do let me know. If you want it to be shorter, if you want it to be longer, if you want it to have uh, more breaks, less breaks, uh, games, I think there's a game you can do, um, exclamation mark jewel, if anybody wants to try that out. Uh, I think it does cost channel points. Uh, Barely raised the an hour have gone back. Time flies when you're having fun. Indeed, uh, yeah, an hour just absolutely disappears. Absolutely disappears. If anybody has any comments on the uh, the timing as well of the stream, you think it should be a little earlier or later or. Um, I should do it on more days, maybe. Uh, I'd like to know your feedback on that. I think streaming once a day is um, is not a thing I can do at the moment. But maybe two or three times a week I can do. We shall see. Uh, impromptu streams. You need a bigger brush for that. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, I'm not going to dispute that. I could do with using a bigger brush. But this one was in my hand and I dipped it in the paint. So I carried on using it. Um. Now do we go for a black top on this base. I don't think we do. I think we go for some sort of shading. Uh, which I shall do 10 minutes. Uh, okay. Right, there's the edge of the base done, Clover. So you've no need to worry about brush sizes now. Um, and the reason I still have the black on the brush is just to colour in his little boots. These tiny little shoes. Or was it or was it booties? I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Um No, I was going to say something else then, and I completely lost it. Quick, someone do something impromptu that I can bounce back off. My recommendation would be to not commit too much right now. Do more streams if you feel like it, but do not push yourself too much. Yeah, yeah, um. That was that was my thought as well, uh, Robin. Uh, 
yeah I don't want to do two streams a week now that I can and then in a month's time go back to one or become burnt out and go to none uh, I would like to keep this going keep this stream going if you guys want to watch I want to make content for you Uh, I do want to say that there is a YouTube channel um, that was started first uh, before this. Um, so if you haven't seen that, um, uh, Robin would be so kind to maybe post a link to it. Because uh, I know Robin subscribed and he watches every video that I make. Um, He's such a devoted fan. So, yeah, if a link to that gets posted, then please feel free to join that. There is also a Discord server that I just need to tidy up a little bit more on. Um, I've sort of neglected it a little bit. Um, because I didn't really expect to use it. I set it up and thought, oh, this will be a laugh uh, if I ever get to do it. And I think right now maybe uh, maybe it's a place where we can all hang out uh, post-stream or pre-stream or just through the week and we can talk about shenanigans. So, yeah, I think I'll post a link to the Discord in next week, maybe, if I can get it finished. Uh, and then we can we can start this, this community uh, growth. Okay. So there is one finished. Gildroy Lockhart miniature. Um, I'm just going to do a quick uh, BRB and I'll get the wash and we can get this thing finished. So, back in a second. Citadel Null Isle. Uh, this is in a slightly bigger pot, you may be able to notice. Let's move this out of the way. Ooh, look at that lag. Uh, but yeah, it's in a slightly bigger pot. Um, and it's, it's more liquidy. I'm not sure if I've spoken about washes. Yes, I did speak about washes in the first stream. So if you missed that, uh, these don't go on the white palette. These are just more of a uh, watered down, uh, high pigmented thing and then I get my lovely uh, shade brush medium shade brush uh, which um, might need replacing soon we'll see uh, so I just soak up a bit of this uh, this wash onto here and onto the base it goes now this base has a texture to it, it has a really um, really shallow, kind of rocky, gravelly look to it. And you can see instantly when I put this stuff on, uh, you can see the texture come out. Uh, it is a little patchy, which we are going to have to sort out. 
Um, so I'll probably clean this guy up, bring him back next stream. Um, but in an hour and a half, uh, two, uh, was it two hours? Was it half an hour that we spent on him last time? There we are. There is the magnificent Gilderoy Lockhart in all his glory. Now, I have ordered for the next stream, uh, let you in on a secret, a, uh, a rotating platform so that I don't have to center him. Move forward a little bit so that I don't have to do this manually. I can stick him on a lovely rotating platform and he'll do this all by himself. But there you go, there is the full look. Uh, let's angle him upwards and bring him into focus a little bit more. Um, there we go, there is the full 360 of my Gildra Lockhart. Painted to, uh, to a reasonable standard, definitely to a tabletop standard. Um, so with that, we shall switch to this screen, move him out of the way. Um, now, I, I am willing to do a two hour stream today. I'm in a good mood, uh, happy that I've got that painted. So what do people want to do? Do people want to watch a little bit longer? Do people want to go? How are we doing? Let me know. Uh, if you want to see the other miniature I will be painting, uh, it is uh, this guy. This guy right here is a uh, spooky, spooky little ghost dude. I believe they're called chain rasps, but don't quote me on that. Um, if he appears again, I'll have a, a, a proper name for it. Do people want to see me paint that? Do people want to go to bed? What are we doing? I will take the silence in chat to mean that we want to go to bed. Huh? Okay, so with that I uh, hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you again next time I stream, which should be uh, same time next week, 8 p.m. Thursday night. Uh, the stream after that will be Christmas Eve. Uh, oh, the stream, the scheduled stream after that will be Christmas Eve. Not sure if I'll be streaming then. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what my plans for Christmas Eve are. So with that, uh, thank you all so much for watching, and I will uh, see you next time. Uh, goodbye.